Right, the final race, the race of week 10 is the Star Wars 7 uh, qualifier. The first four qualify for the finals of week 13, Sagamo Dreams, Graham Cadabuck, Ruby Gallup, Darren French, The Thinker, Martin Needham, Anguissette, Patrick Hogan, Storm Crow, Patrick Hogan, Warbird, Paul Rhodes, Maximum Mayor, Alex Cherry, Tail, Stu Gray, High Admiral, Paul Rhodes, African Bloom, Stu Gray, and Diamond Class, Alex Cherry, 11 horses. In this last, at, from the last of Bacon, the rain has stopped, and away they go. And uh, High Admiral for Paul Rhodes is quickly away from Sackmore Dreams on his inside. In between the two of them is the Thinker. Just behind that is Warbird, the grey horse for Patrick Hogan. On the outside there is Storm Crow. On the rail we have Maximum Mayhem, who's just on the inside of uh, African Bloom. For Stu Gray on the outside, on the outside there is Anguissette. Ruby Gallup is wide. Um, for Darren French, I think. And then comes Tail. And at the back of the field, Diamond Class for Alex Cherry. So Sagamore Dream leads from the Thinker in second. On the outside of the Thinker is the High Admiral. Then comes Storm Crow. Anguissette just behind that. On the rail, we have uh, Warbird. A slow jump there by Maximum Mayhem. Lost a few places in the air. Ruby Gallup is ahead of those. And then comes at the back of the field, we have Diamond Class with the two Stu Grey horses, African Bloom and Tail. So Sagamore Deems takes him along for Graham Clatterbuck, the grey horse, he's about four lengths clear of Hyde Admiral in second, who's on the outside of the Thinker. Then Storm Crow for Patrick Hogan, on the wide outside is Ruby Gallup, they're followed by Anguissette, the second Patrick Hogan horse. On the road is Warbird for Paul Rhodes, followed by the Maximum Mayhem, who's just ahead of African Bloom, Diamond Class behind that with Tail at the back of the field. So Sagamore Deems leads with two miles left to go, clear from High Admiral in second. Is on the outside of the Thinker as they jump the next. They're all still standing here. On the outside of the Thinker is Storm Crow. On the whale is Rayleigh's Warbird, who has Anguissette on his outside. And the Grey Horse Ruby Gallop is on the wide outside of these. And they're followed by Maximum Mayhem, who's just ahead of African Bloom and Tail. Is two lengths further back with Diamond Class on his outside as Sagamore Deems takes him along for Graham Clatterbuck from War Admiral in second. Storm Crow on the outside of the Thinker, they're followed by Anguissette, who's just on the outside of Warbird. Ruby Gallop on that one's outside, followed by Maximum Mayhem, who just precedes African Bloom, they're followed by Tail, and in the back of the field we have Diamond Class. It's about 10 lengths first for last year. Sagamore Deems takes him along from High Admiral in second. The Thinker is on the inside of Storm Crow. Stable companion of the Storm Crow, uh, the Dark coloured horse of Frederick Hogan is Anguissette Ruby Gallop is on the outside of Warbird then comes Maximum Mayhem just behind these they all jump it okay uh, passing Maximum Mayhem is African Bloom uh, three lanes further back to tail at the back of the field with Diamond Class as Sagamore Dean continues to lead for Graham Clutterbuck as they come past the stands for the penultimate time, it's Sagamore Deems, four lanes clear of the Thinker in second. They pass the winning purse and they head off in their final second. And the Thinker is in second, so third is Storm Crow. Just behind that is High Admiral, two lanes further back to Anguissette. Ruby Gallop is on the outside of Warbird. And on the rail we have African Bloom, Maximum Mayhem just behind that. Then comes Tail and Diamond Class at the back of the field. So Sagamore Deems still leads for Graham Tunnerbuck. From in second is Storm Crow, High Admiral on that one's inside, then the Thinker for Martin Needham. Just behind that is Warbird, Ruby Gallop, the second, the third grey is just behind that. Slow jump though by Ruby Gallop, uh, passing these is African Bloom uh, for Stu Grey. Um, on the rail is Anguissette, in between horses is Diamond Class, who moves through from the back of the field, then Maximum Mayhem and Tail at the back of the field, but they're all some sort of, some sort of chance here. A slow jump by Tail at the back, it's Tagamodima leads from a High Admiral in second. On the outside of High Admiral is Storm Crow. And moving closer stylishly is African Bloom, who's moved through from the back of the field to be third. On the rail is Warbird. They're followed by uh, the Thinker. Then Ruby Gallop on the outside of uh, Diamond Class. Anguissette is near the back of the field with Maximum Mayhem on his outside and Tail at the back of the field. Six volumes left to travel and Sagmore Deems leads from High Admiral and Warbird. On the outside of these is African Bloom for Stu Gray. They jump the next. In between horses is the Thinker. Then comes Storm Crow with Diamond Class and that one's outside. Ruby Gallop is travelling four wide at the stage four. And then on the inside there's Anguissette, Maximum Mayhem behind that. And a bad mistake by Maximum Mayhem and Tail is in danger of getting detached. It's Warbird who sweeps into the front for Paul Rose. From on the inside, Sagamore Dreams. Out wide, African Bloom is still going well for Stu Gray. Then comes War Admiral, a High Admiral. So the Thinker is just behind that, followed by Storm Crow. And Anguissette is moving closer for Paul, for Patrick Hogan. Out wide is Ruby Gallop with Diamond Class behind that. Now Warbird has set sail for home. 
Wildman's Warbird with three furlongs left to travel. African Bloom in second for Stu Gray is travelling strongly. Just behind this, Sagmore Dreams is trying to ready. Then Ruby Gallop and Anguissette. It's a Warbird, but that comes African Bloom for Stu Gray. And African Bloom comes to pick it up from Warbird in second. Then comes Sagmore Dreams is trying to ready back in third for Graham Terrible and African Bloom. For Stu Gray has come from near the back of the field, comes to jump the next, jumps it slowly. On the outside, Ruby Gallop is finishing strongly. Sagmore Dreams is ready. It's still African Bloom in front for Stu Gray, but Sagmore Dream is rallying back in second, and Sagmore Dream comes back to the front for, uh, for Graham Clutterbug, and Sagmore Dreams is holding off Ruby Gallop, and Sagmore Dreams is going to win for Graham Clutterbug from Ruby Gallop in second. African Bloom got wary back in third, and was set was fourth for Patrick Hogan. Pulls that final place for the qualifiers. Sagamore Dream's very game was passed by African Bloom but rallied strongly to pick it up again to win from Ruby Gallup who was his final challenger on the outside. African Bloom back in third. I think in fourth was the thinker for Martin Needham. Yeah, it was. So Graham Clutterbuck wins with Sagamore Dreams. Darren French second was Ruby Gallup. African Bloom third for Stu Gray. And the thinker was fourth for Martin Needham. Those four qualify the finals in week 13.